You should really talk to your sister about this. Yeah, well, I don't want to get Natalie all freaked out. If Marty is up to something, Natalie should know about it, right? Yeah, you're right. I'll talk to her. Call me when you know something. Star. Oh. Um, it's Marty. I'm leaving this message. Uh, well, because no matter what's happened between us, one thing hasn't changed. There's a big hole in our lives without Cole. And because of that, we really need to be there for each other. It would really help me to see hope right now, Star. It really would help me. I miss her more than I can say. So I'm just praying that you've done something about that. The restraining order. Oh, I just got a message from Marty. You gonna call her back? Well, I know what she wants. She wants me to get that restraining order lifted so she could see hope. But I don't know whether I should do that after the fight we had about James and... Oh my God, stop. Oh, oh my God, James! James, are you okay? Lexin, call Ford. Oh. Call Ford, tell him to get over here now. Nice talking to you, Your Honor. But like I said, gotta go. Mm -hmm. My daughter may accept your lame excuses, but I do not. Your daughter doesn't tolerate lame excuses either. She's a strong person, and I like that. I admire that. Really? And is this newfound respect for her as a result of the recent moratorium? Mora yeah. Moratorium? Mm -hmm. Her moratorium on sex, as in none. Yes. Yes, we Kramers believe in full disclosure. Uh-huh. I get that. My daughter believes that uh, this will help reform you. I believe it will just push you into the arms of another woman. Well, you're wrong. No, I don't think so. I'm never wrong about men like you. What, you think I'm holding something back from you? Are you? Look, Vicky, why don't you just tell me whatever it is you expect to hear? Dorian came to me, and uh, she said that she saw something between you and Echo. What? She saw you two kissing. What, do you have Dorian spying on us? Uh... No, of course I'm not. Dorian took it into her own head to follow you. Just tell me, is it true? Okay. Yeah, that's true. I think you underestimate me. I don't think it's possible. Watch me. Because when it comes to Langston, I can do anything. That's a promise. Oh, really? So while we're throwing around promises, I'll make you this promise. You hurt my daughter, and I'm going to hurt you. Langston? I'm at Rourke's gym. Your dad's here and so is your brother. You need to get here as soon as you can, Ford. Bad. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, Echo did get a little out of control. A little? No, she, she didn't even know what she was doing. I'd be surprised if she even remembers it in the morning. But you were not gonna tell me. No, if it didn't mean anything. Oh, Charlie, what? of course it meant something. It meant that Echo thinks there's absolutely nothing wrong with kissing someone else's husband. No, but she, she was mortified when it happened. She was scared. Yeah, I'll bet she was. Of what? What? Of being thrown out of here. Uh -huh. She does not want to lose her last chance to get close to Rex and Shane. Oh, Charlie. Charlie, you don't, you just don't get it, do you? She doesn't want to lose her chance to be close to oh, you. No, it has nothing to do with me. I just happen to be here. Look, Becky, please, if you throw her out of here, you're going to be punishing Rex and Shane for something that it's not their fault. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Your very ex-girlfriend throws herself at you, oh. and I'm supposed to take the high road. How would you 
like it if I moved Clint in here and started oh. kissing him? Fuck. Vicky. This was just a one-time thing. As long as Echo is here, how do I know that? Because I have absolutely no interest in kissing her ever again. Marry me, Aubrey. You know we belong together. What about your parents? They'll come around. The more they see us together, the more they'll realize that it's meant to be. So please, say yes. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is only the happiest night of my life. Mm. I think we need champagne, don't you? On it. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you were here for this. So, the guy you're hung up on is Joey. He was your first love? Aubrey, I had no idea that he was involved with anyone else, that he even wanted to get married. I... Now that I know that, I... Now that you know that, what? Are you gonna try and stop us? Thank you. Okay? Yeah. I think we should call you a doctor. No, you guys, I don't think anything's broken, just it's fine. What is your problem? Why can't you just leave him alone? What? We were working out, you know, just going a few practice rounds. You're the one that made him drop his guard. You sucker punch James, no, stay away from, away from him. Stay away from him. Hey! Why don't you pick on somebody who's better at fighting back? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let this go. Good. You won't regret it. Oh, I most certainly will regret it if she ever does anything like that again, drunk or so. Oh, I promise you, nothing's <sighs> ever gonna happen again. Okay. I, hey, can I help it if I'm irresistible? Is that supposed to be charming? Not working, huh? Do I look charmed? Uh, no. No. But I love you anyway. You still love me after all the stuff I've been asking you to go through? Well, of course I love you. Why the hell do you think I'm so upset? I don't think so. Why don't you go wash your face, get Echo's lips off of you? Then we'll talk. Listen, uh, please call me back as soon as you find out what's going on with Charlie. Bye-bye. Men. They're beasts. All of them. He's just trying to get to you, okay? Don't give him the satisfaction. I give you 50 grand, you bastard. You were supposed to get the hell out of here. I'll leave when I'm ready. All right. Okay. But you couldn't resist taking one more shot at James, could you? What kind of a sick freak gets pleasure out of hurting his own son? It was a boxing match! You want a box? Let's go. You and me, 10 rounds. If I win, you leave town. And you never come back again. If you tell Joey how you feel about him, it will change everything for me. Is that what you think? Is that what you're gonna do? Okay, Kelly, so you heard my big news. So now it's on you. What did you want to tell me? Brody threatened me. He said he'd tell everyone that I broke into Natalie's medical records. I know what, he hasn't done it yet. But if he does, I really will lose my job. Then what? I haven't been a wife in a long time. Not allowed to be a mother or a grandmother. Your daughter, either. <laughs> uh... No, see, that's why. That's why I have to play this carefully. 
very, very carefully. Brody. Hey, can I come in? Yeah, everything okay? Yeah, I was just wondering, you didn't happen to find anything I might have left here. Like what? Like a pair of briefs. Mm, you lost your underwear. Occupational hazard. <laughs> can you help me look? I, I, I would, Joel, but I, um, I have to go. Oh, God, Brody. No, I'm Joel, remember? No, I know, I know, not you. Um, Rex, I'm not sure this test results to Brody. Hey, Rex, what's up? Uh, I need to see Natalie. Uh, I think she might have gotten into work. Let me check. Uh, no, wait, Brody, this involves you too. 